Alrighty, this is um, the seat starting room. It's an indoor room with all LED lights. Here, let me get you. And so these all got started yesterday, um, except for this one here. This is from like a couple weeks ago. It's some cayenne peppers, but these all right here we're all just seated yesterday it's um pink brandy wine or no just german pink sorry true black brandy wine purple bumblebee cherry tomatoes these are uh squash pumpkins sugar babies honeydews cantaloupes uh cukes um anaheim's sweet peppers sorry Anaheim's sweet peppers and um, over here are seeds from uh, like two weeks ago, 10, 10 days ago, but they just got, this was kind of all getting set up. Um, things weren't quite uh, all together until um, just like in the last month kind of things all kind of started coming together to be able to get seeds started for the season and so it's kind of been like jazz you know just a improvisation um so these are hot peppers right here these are korean darks and buchalokias these are buchalokias and habaneros these um got a bunch of marigolds that were sprouting to companion plant uh, and with all the nightshades and everything. Uh, it's black strawberry cherry tomatoes and atomic grape cherry tomatoes way in the back. Uh, these are Roma's tomatoes and Cherokee purple tomatoes. These are all Baker Creek uh, seed stock. These are um, brandy wines. Um, if you notice the uh, growing medium is different because that was uh i accidentally used a soil mix instead of i normally like to use cocoa core like is in here um but i couldn't find it when i was getting set up because like i said everything was you know just being improvised a little bit uh anyway so some more marigolds um something called zapotec jalapenos from baker creek seed company um uh, i'm sure they're delicious and then some milk thistle back there popping up um, from Strictly Medicinal Seed Company. And then, uh, yeah, so all this stuff on the floor, all this kind of schmutz is all from garlic that was drying in here that got planted back in the fall and uh, just recently, actually. Um, anyway, these are eggplants, I believe, uh, from Baker Creek also. Uh, some kind of Italian one and then a Palestinian heirloom back here and this is me forgetting to label something so we're gonna figure out what these are who knows <laughs> um, here are speckled paste uh, tomatoes from Strictly Medicinal Seed Company and nasturtiums from Baker Creek and Strictly Medicinal. These are uh, Buena Mulata hot peppers. Um, these ones right here that you can, there you go. Those ones right there. It's like a African, purple African hot pepper, I believe. It sounds rad, so we're gonna see how it does here. And then also in there are, um, the strictly medicinal jalapenos and then the very back are these this little guy this is exciting um the owner's partner gave me a bunch of seeds of questionable viability and um one was just labeled this triple x h o t t p p e p p e r uh some kind of really hot pepper that apparently you lose the ability to spell correctly. <laughs> so that's what it's labeled. One of them has popped up. Um, I don't have enough heat mats to have everywhere. The only heat mats I have were back there on the Buchalokias and the Habaneros. 
Um, but yet, this guy, actually we'll leave that off for a second. This guy still managed to pop up. Don't know exactly what it is. Uh, my friend suggested we call it uh, the Vin Diesel Hot Pepper, you know, Triple X, obviously. Duh, okay, we're gonna go with that for sure. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. We'll see what happens there, but... Um, so, uh, what this is all about is, um, this is, this is how I start seeds. Uh, these, these are about two-ish weeks old. Uh, they are not as big as I would like, and they are not taking as well as I would hope. But like I said, everything has just been kind of been getting improvised, uh, while things got figured out. Um, but I like to start in these individual cells. Um, Cocoa Core is great, uh, because it dries out evenly and stays evenly moist for excellent germination. The domes help to retain humidity inside the, inside the, uh, the trays and um, that also helps with germination. I just got the domes on three days ago. Uh, I went to go buy a couple and they're like $5.99 each, um, which adds up totally, you know. Uh, and then I found a whole bunch of them in the room next door, over there. And uh, so, we got dome lids now. Anyway, so yeah, um, as you can see, some of these are drying out. So I will be going, what I like to do is I usually go by weight. I see if they're starting to dry out and then I'll pick them up and you just take note to how they feel when they're fully, when, you, when they're fully wet, when you've watered thoroughly. And then as time goes by, you pick them up and you feel them and you notice, hey, it's lighter, so maybe it needs water now. And um, just give it a little bit and like, you know, obviously if it's still wet like these squares in there, um, maybe they don't need water, you know? Maybe they're good for another day. Uh, but, you know, these guys, maybe they could use a little drink, you know? Um, and, uh, it's warm in this room. Um, I should have a thermometer in here. I don't. Um, I am going to fix that at one point. Probably by the time we go outside, I'm sure. But it's, you know, it's pretty warm in here. It's at least 75 degrees. It's probably closer to like 80. It's pretty freaking warm. It's nice. Um, but so like I keep water in here. Um, because it's warm and because there's seedlings, uh, the cold water that comes out of the spigot, uh, it can shock the plants, you know, um, they're very young, it can shock the roots and uh, stunt them or kill them or not allow them to germinate at all. And uh, so I like to always keep a little reservoir, five gallon bucket, or if you have a bigger space, you know, a nice 55 gallon drum is even better. Um, and uh, that way it sits overnight and it comes up to room temperature and it's not so rough on these babies. Um, this is a nursery, technically, so we want to baby everything uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to check these out. And uh, I don't know if there's a way to do this. like super light and it's got a little bit of weight to it you know um but like you see it's uh not exactly looking super damp but it's important to remember that seeds like it moist not wet um i don't want to be swimming uh i'll 
probably be coming back at the end of the day. Uh, it's probably when I'll be giving this one water if I, if I do. Uh, but like, let's check out this one. This one. This is another one of the fun ones. I screwed up and uh, couldn't find the cocoa core and uh, plant it in this nice potting mix. Um, but it, it is a good mix that has a bunch of like peat moss and cocoa core and these white pieces are perlite and that all helps with drainage. So it, you know, it did a halfway decent job. I was almost, I was pretty afraid that these tomatoes were all gonna die. I was gonna have a problem with uh, what's called dampening off when you get too much. Uh, tomatoes like, they like water, but they don't like wet feet, um, especially as babies. Um, so this one, you can see like, these ones over here. All right, here, here, here ish you know maybe those are drying out a little bit these guys not so much so you know the ones that are a little damp like these they don't they don't necessarily need water right now maybe they can hang out but um you know it's uh it's something to make a mental note of for sure and let's see can i let's do that This one feels a little lighter. Um, and that Roma up in the corner looks a little thirsty. So, you know, it's just a mason jar and a bucket of water. So, you know, super high tech. And, you know, just like so, that's what I do. Super fancy, just hit the individual cells that needed it. These three right here, this one right here is the one that I was thinking looked a little thirsty. She's might just be being dramatic, but she might have also been thirsty. So, you know, the cell was dry, gave it a little bit of water. Um, these yellowing things. I don't think they're supposed to look like that. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on those as time goes by. Uh, that might be a I fucked up type of, type of deal. I don't know. There's two kinds of nasturtiums in here. One's the orchid cream from Baker Creek and the other is uh, Jules. Yeah, Jules from Strictly Medicinal. Um, flower them out, right? And then you'll friggin' know. Okay, um, yeah, so like, you know, this one's fun to look at. This is the, this is baby milk thistle. Kind of looks like a little cucumber a little bit coming up. Or like a weed. Kind of looks like a little weed coming up. Like, ah, I better get that out of my lawn. No, no, we want that. Um, it's got more marigolds in the front. I, I planted a ton of marigolds. There's... Yeah, the ones in the greenhouse, and yeah, so, yeah. But, yeah, so we'll probably be watering that one later, and, oh, yeah, 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 so the heating pad. So I have a heating pad here. It's an old one. Oh, no, it's been off. Well, it was supposed to be staying on. I have this very high-tech system set up right here. <laughs> it's, we'll fix that in a second. Anyway, it goes up and uh, so there's plywood on top of these. This is this is this table situation. It's just totes, plywood, and then a freaking um, right here is a heating pad and because that thing does get hot and it doesn't turn off, I have uh, one of my t-shirts here, and then a cloth pot underneath it also to act as a barrier. Um, but these are the uh, Korean dark green peppers and Buchalokias. Um And they definitely like the heat. And over here are the baby hobs. Um, 
yeah. More baby hops. I'm definitely doing the thing. I'm really excited for those. Habaneros just freaking, they're just so tasty. I need a peach tree and uh, I can make some uh, banging, banging hot sauce, man. Um, but yeah, okay, so like these, these uh, cells, they look pretty dry, huh? Um, let's see about, uh, look dry but I'm always worried about overwatering the seedlings so what am I looking at where where did you go Joe DiMaggio um, here it's just poking through so like it looks super dry on top but it's still a little wet in there that's poking through um, this freaking guy is just come up, uh, popping up. I saw a couple more. Where do they go? Uh, is that the same one I was just pointing at? I don't think so. But yeah. So it's like one in the afternoon. I'll be back at like six, seven o'clock, and uh, you know, be able to get more of these water, I think. But so since um, I only have the one heating pad, obviously only half the thing is on there. One thing that I do is I do have to turn this thing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that one I picked up, it kind of felt the same. Um, kind of felt like uh, it'll take some water here in a little bit, but it's good for right now. And uh, so we're going to put the lid back on this guy. And um, put the lid back on that tray of nasturtiums and paste tomatoes over there and um, I think I got a tray I could see maybe we'll do that tomorrow I don't know 